Oh, he's a nice fish. There he is. Look at that. Well, this is what we come for. I'm happy now. Righto, folks. We've come down to the jumping pin today with my good mate Scott here to try and catch a few flathead. Yep, we've come down to give our uh, exude range a bit of a run. We've had good success on just about all the other fish in the ocean. Uh, we know they work, so we've come down to just uh, prove it on film. Okay, today we're going to chase these flathead with the Mr. Twister exude range. We're starting off with a 5 and a 7 inch RT slug. These are actually a water activated scent release. So once this lure hits the water, the scent starts releasing straight away, attracting the fish. So what we're going to do with the, with the five inch slugs, we're going to use them in the shallower water. Got him on that the five inch exude RT slug. And the seven inch ones, we're going to use them in the deeper water when we get out to about seven or eight metres of water. Got one here, only a little fella. Take him around the other side, that's good. All right. This one's picked up a little exude RT slug, this one. I'll put him in the net anyway, I speak. Yeah, you little fella, but he's a start. That's a good start, I anyway. only had about half a dozen casts. Even though he's only a little fella. Good work, Scotty. Trick with these fellas. Turn them upside down. Generally, they'll sit there quite happily. Makes an easy release. It wasn't getting off, anyway. That's one run on the board. We need to try and pull a bigger one out of here now. I've only got him on light, on light gear. We're, we're fishing in fairly deep water here down the pin. We're actually in about eight metres water. This feels like a really nice fish. We've got him on the little um, blade and tails medium rod, an 8 pound, eight pound braid and a 16 pound fluorocarbon leader and the little dam, the little ch that dam 2000, this is a nice fish this, he's got a fair bit of weight in him, he's going to come up here in a sec, we're just hopping it along the, the main, main ledge here, drops from about 2 metres down into about 11 or 12 metres and this thing's just blind all, oh he's a nice fish, there he is, look at that. Oh. Look at that, he's just falling off in the boat. So that's that's the one we've come for today. There we got him on that the 5 inch Exude RT slug and a um, 3 quarter ounce jigged, short catch jigged. This is what we come for, I'm happy now. This is great. It always pays to support their belly. You don't want it, last thing you want to do is hang a big fish up by his jaw like this. So about, it's about 75 centimetres on the dock. Right, we've got one pick up the, uh, the seven inch RT slug. We sort of changed up for a bigger fish, but. Uh, he was the one right, he's, right, he? Yeah, he's sort of had a bit of a go. He caught a fair bit of line there to start with. He's not far off. We, uh, we had to go to the bigger jig head. We're in about 13 metres of water. A lot of the bigger fish sort of sit in those depths. Troy's going to grab the net there. And... Oh, he's a nice fish, Scotty. Not a monster, but he's... Uh... <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Oh, he's really a, a nice flat end on the same. But you can see that, that bait cast now that Scotty was using then. Well, that's more for Barra, but when you're using big heavy jig heads, our little bait caster um, combo comes into its own, eh? Yeah, well, the shorter, stiffer rod, right, Troy, you sort of get a little fishing that deeper water, you don't want too much stretch in your line. It's a lot more direct, the softer uh, spin rods here are more, more designed for the shallow water, but you now that's certainly done the trick today. Quick, uh, quick measure here. 60 centimetres. 60 centimetres on the nose, so it's still a, still a nice fish. Not every day the sort of 60 centimetre ones have come along, but we're targeting a little bit better than average fish. So, uh, we'll pop him back in the water. Good work, Scotty. Are you 
he's ready, he's ready to go for a swim. Alright, oh, put him back. Yeah, he's quite healthy. We looked after that fish, so he'll live to fight another day. Good work, Troy, good skippering. Good work, Scotty. <laughs> well, Scotty, we, um, we had a pretty good day today. We caught three nice flatties, one really nice flat. I was pretty impressed with that one. Mate, we did, uh, the exudes did the job for us today. Uh, the fish seemed to like them. Not a huge amount of fish today, but we didn't have all that uh, all that long out here, so you know, the weather hasn't been great, but we've, we've enjoyed it. All right, mate, no, thanks for, thanks for coming today, and uh, we'll do it again soon. Good when a plan comes together. <laughs>